What's happening people? Hello here once again. What we have here is the Revolution Aluminum Box Mod by MRN Woodworks Philippines. This is the final product and uh, I want to give a shout out to Chris Reyes for lending me this one to review. So here we go. It's uh, I believe it's a T6 aluminum body. CNC machined. It has a I don't know what you call it, like an ego type 510 connector because uh, it seems to me it's force fitted. It doesn't have the uh, uh, the juice well so I mean this right here is a CNC machine as well it's a one piece uh, body and uh, kind of CNC sunken you know 510 but like I said it's an ego type 510 connector with the brass telescopic positive pin Delwin button with the Delwin button housing slide side slide magnetic doors and a pretty nice engraving mirror finish as well and uh, I like the shape so the internal is a it has a brass negative contact screwable as well brass positive contact also and uh, the internal covers I mean cover is removable I was told is fully removable as well as the uh, 510 pin contact and the uh, button so it's completely removable so when you clean it you have you know an ac uh, you have access inside I'm not gonna take this apart because it's just it was just lent to me, lent to me by uh, again Chris Reyes to do the review so okay, that's pretty much it and it has a really compact design pretty small so let's go ahead and get the voltage drop uh, getting the voltage drop on this one is a little bit different than my uh, previous and older box mod reviews because I use a Sony VTC4 back then but right now I am gonna use the Vapoholic battery which is 2500 milliamperes and weighted 40 amps so two of these again it's a parallel connection dual bat box mod let's get down to this the business and get the voltage drop Also, another difference uh, on this voltage drop test, I normally get them on a 0.5 to 0.6 ohm build. But right now, I have a 0.47 build that's available. So expect a little higher voltage loss. Okay. So far on my previous reviews <clears throat> on a 0.57 ohm build the Triton is the hardest hitting box mod parallel connection box mod that I reviewed. I think it has only a 0.11 or 0.12 voltage drop on a 0.57 ohm build using Sony VTC4. Right now I'm going to be using the Vapoholic battery and on a 0.47 ohm build 
So the charge remaining is 4.11, pretty much full charge. And the drop on a 0.47 ohm build is, what's that, 395? 393 391 so let's get the highest 395 out of 409 so that's 395.5 plus 0 0.1 0 0.14 voltage loss on a 0 0.47 ohm build 410 let's get it one more time 394 393 so it actually went higher 493 409 so yeah that's uh, 0.16 voltage drop which is still pretty good on a dual parallel box mod so let's go ahead and vape this away show you some vapor production on a 0.14 ohm build using my boom rda by vapoholic Adjust the uh, telescopic pin a little bit higher. Hmm. And this is what I noticed too. It's kind of the five pin uh, threading is kind of rough. So you really have to uh, hit the exact rotation. Of them threads. Okay, here we go. This is what I don't like with the tough top firing uh, box mod see the air hole is facing directly to your finger so when you ouch when you blow the steam will go directly to your finger so this time I'm not gonna blow it I'm just gonna inhale it without blowing it out first 0.14 ohm build revolution box mod So there you have it, a revolution by MRN Woodworks Philippines, dual parallel pad box mod with a brass contacts. I would like the video to my next review, peace out.